Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin here catching up with Rob Miller from BASF. Hey Rob, how's it going? Great, how are you doing, Bern? I'm doing great. Um, we are at the Mary Hill Research Station and I want to talk about integrated weed management here. You know, um, a lot of talk about tillage this winter and uh, you know, we will also have to think about chemistry and you've got a really neat plot here and how these two can work together. Tell me what you got. Yeah, definitely. So this is very interesting. This is a was soybeans last year. We did one pass with the disc last fall after harvest. And this spring we've already, already come in here with a cultivator in one pass and then planted the crop. And what can we learn from some of that, you know, that tillage that's already happened? When we think back to last fall, you know, it was really wide open fall. It was really warm and wet. And a lot of that tillage that happened last fall occurred later in the season. A lot of it even occurred later in December. And at that time of year, the ground was partially frozen. So it seemed to come up in clumps. And since the, it was really wide open, those weeds, those perennial weeds, those winter annual weeds, just came up in clumps and never really had the uh, the, the cultivator implement or the, the tillage implement cut those those weeds. But what can we actually learn about the spring pass already? And when we look down at some of these weed species, you know, it's, it's really large. Uh, this one is actually annual bluegrass. So one pass with the with a cultivator already this spring, about a week ago, we've had an inch of rain or about three quarters of an inch of rain since that time of application. And that tillage pass just kind of uprooted it, but it's already sitting there with that inch of rain, it's just going to reroot itself and continue to, uh, to, to grow. Even when we look at this bluegrass here, annual bluegrass spreading across the province, it's already starting to reroot itself with that recent moisture. So that's where tillage can be effective at controlling certain weeds, some of the perennial weeds, but for the most part, it's sometimes just covers up these weed species and making them more, more of a challenge to control. So that's where it's really important to get out there and time that, uh, you know, that tillage implement, but understand your weed pressure. It's not only annual bluegrass as well, but it's a weed like uh, dandelions. We're seeing a lot more of that this year. And as we move into dandelions here, I'm just gonna dig this one up. You can start to see that it's already started to, it's covered it up, it's almost like an iceberg. And then that, uh, that tap root, it is cut off, but it's not 100% uh, controlled. And we're starting to see it even reroot itself after that recent moisture. And here's another one example here of some shepherd's purse, as well as some dandelion. Just kind of, it's been, it's been covered up but you get that nice large root system. And this is the one that I'm gonna be a little bit more concerned about because it's not very much top growth that's there. It's a lot of it's covered up, but the root growth underneath is very large. So a couple of the main take home messages, you know, tillage can be a very effective in terms of uh, soil preparation, but also have a plan in place to control some of these larger weeds. In a situation like this, you wanna make sure that you control these weeds prior to the crop emerging. <laughs>